What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make an energy ball effect in Sony Vegas. Now just before I get into this tutorial, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now here's an example of what you'll be creating. Okay, so hopefully you like it, and believe it or not, it's actually very simple to do. And to do this, the main thing we're going to be working with is keyframing. Now, the energy ball I got from this channel right here, best green screen, go ahead and check them out. Link to them will be in the description. And the way you will get the green screen and the electricity noise, I'll link them in a pack in the description so you can download them both together. So, with Sony Vegas open, I'm just going to drag all of my things into my project media, so I can just work with it right here. And the first thing I'm going to do is drag on the face cam. Now, this is the way I set it up. So I literally just put the camera down, positioned it to where I want it. I was going to do it with my hoodie at first, so I look a bit uh, dramatic, but no. And then, yeah, from here is where I start. So as you'll see, my hands just go up, pretending there's a ball there. And that's all you got to do. you just literally got to pretend there is an energy ball in front of you. And that is how simple it is. And here I just pass it to this hand. And then I eventually throw it off to the right side. Like now. Now you'll notice when I pushed it off. I didn't push it off very fast. And I'll explain why when we get onto the keyframing. So from there I can just end the video. And just shorten it down. Now when you get your video in. Right click it. Select properties. Disable resample. And uncheck maintain aspect ratio. This will get rid of any ghosting. Now of course there is no audio in the video itself, so we can right click and delete this track. So we need to get to the part where we pretend the ball is there. So I'm just going to play through and there. So I'm going to press M on my keyboard to lay down a marker. And this is going to let me know when I'm going to have the energy ball on screen. So now I'm going to right click, insert a video track, and I'm going to drag on the energy plasma. Just like so. Now there is no sound effect to the energy plasma, the sound you're seeing is just for the intro and outro of the channel, so we can right click here and delete. And now we've got to find where it actually starts, so you can see we've got to go through the intro first. And it starts right here, so I'm going to put it there, and now from there we need to get rid of the green screen. So come to video effects, come to chroma key, and then select green screen, just drag it on top. And as you'll see, it has now gone. If you don't have video effects here, then simply come to View, Windows Layout, and select Default Layout. Now from here, you position it where you want it. Now you can either use the Event Pan and Crop, or you can use the Track Motion. For me, I'm going to be using Track Motion. So I'm going to make sure Scale About Sensor is checked, and also Lock Aspect Ratio is checked. You also want to make sure Sync Cursor is checked, and this will allow you to have the best keyframing. So I'm just going to shorten it down to a size that I think is suitable. Now you can see there is a black box around it. We will fix that in a minute after we've just positioned this. So it's completely up to you where you want it and the size you want it. And let's just position it down a bit. There we go. That looks good to me. And I'm going to X out of this. Now the black box, how do we get rid of it? Well, select this right here. And this is going to bring us back to our chroma key. Where it says low threshold, just bring it up a bit and you'll see it will slowly start to fade away. So I need to see it. You can still see there's a tiny bit more there, so I'm going to go to about 200, 0.200. There we go. And that's good for me. So you can copy these exact settings down right now, as they'll be the same for you. Now from there, let's find out when it goes off screen, or when we push it off screen. So I believe it is around here. And let's just see. Held that pose longer than I thought. <laughs> so it would be off screen right now. So I'm going to press M on my keyboard, and I'm going to split the clip by pressing S on my keyboard, and delete the remaining of the energy ball, just like that. And now it is time to keyframe. So this is the part you need to pay attention, and this is the part that it will be time consuming. Now if your computer lags when you press play, 
make sure you come up here and change this to good and auto. If it can't handle that, then preview and auto. Then again, of course, if it can't handle that, draft and auto. So good and auto is good for me, as you can see. And now this is where I'll be keyframing. So I'm using track motion, like I said earlier. I'm going to put it up here so I can see what I'm doing. And you can also see it as well. So sync cursor needs to be checked. A very, very vital point. What this allows us to do, you can see if we move this, it's also going to move on our timeline here. So that is why we need that checked. You want to make sure you're on position, and now here we go. So we're just going to play through, and any type of movements, that is when we're going to start to. Uh, that's when we're going to start to. There we go. So you see right now, that's when we're going to start to animate it. So you can see, thanks to Sync Cursor, when we've stopped the video, it's also going to stop right here, and this is where we can position it to where it starts to move. So you can see it starts to go to the left, my right hand. So play through it again. And it's going a bit more down, so I'm going to keyframe it. Now the way I'm moving this, I'm just left clicking here and using the arrow keys. Much more simpler than just dragging it around, I believe this is more accurate. So, again, moving up a bit more. Now of course if you want to be very, very accurate, you can press this button right here which goes frame by frame. But honestly I don't think it is needed, the play and pause button is needed for me because I don't do much movement. But again, it depends how much movement you do. Now you can see I missed out quite a lot there, so we'll just play through. It's actually gone under my hand, or like that. And my hand's coming up a bit, so we'll go like that. A bit like that. And now remember, my hand starts to come to the side because of uh, me throwing it out, so let's just keep going. And you can see my hand slowly starting to turning, it's coming up a bit, so I'm going to come a bit to the right. And you can see it is slowly, gradually turning to the right. And we're just going to keep going like this. you got to be very patient with this. Of course, I'm rushing it just for demonstration purposes, but when you do it, of course, you'll make a very nice effect. And you can see I've now got it in the position where I want it to be. And about there, and we're going to get ready to push. Now this is the reason why I push slowly, it will help us when we come to the keyframing part. So as you'll see, we just got to keep playing, pausing, playing, pausing. My hand's slowly starting to go forward, so I'm going to start pushing this off to the side. It's going to be up a bit, and, and you can see, here we go, this is what we're going to mess with the keyframing. So use the left and the right arrow keys, or you can use these buttons right here, completely up to you. Prefer left and right arrow keys, to be honest, and we're going to slowly make it go off screen just like this so you can see the hand starting to use a bit of force now and now one thing we've got to do we got to make sure the energy ball follows the same direction as the hand so from here I'm going to stop keyframe and we're just going to play the rest of the video and see where my hand goes it goes right down this that is the direction our energy ball needs to go in so Back to keyframing. Make sure you selected the latest keyframe you've done. And here we go. So we just gotta position it down a bit. Position it down a bit. Now here it'll just go off screen. Since my hand's almost fully extended or my arm is fully extended, I'm just gonna left click and drag it completely off screen in the same direction we want it. Just like that. And now it's completely gone. So if we play what we've just done. Boom. Energy ball is in. It should be moving to the left hand slowly as you'll see. It is just like that. It'll look like we're holding it with, our, uh, with my right hand I believe. And as you'll see, my hand will slowly start to turn around it. The energy ball is also following it. And just like that, it goes off screen. Very simple to do and it looks pretty good. Considering I rushed it, I think it still looks okay. And that is how you'll be able to edit it as well. Very, very simple, a very simple recording process, and then a very simple editing process. Again, just remember to take your time on the keyframing, and hopefully being able to follow keyframing. For those that are new, I know it might take some time for you. However, this tutorial should help you keyframing in future as well. So again, one more time, just going to play through it, and boom. Now the markers definitely helped because you can see they helped us when we wanted the uh, green screen to start and to end. So that is why I laid them out. But again it's completely optional if you want to do that. 
and then push off the side like that. Very simple and we keyframe this very slow as you'll see it's kind of just disappearing and that is what I've noticed so that is what we're gonna fix so that is because this is all the way off screen so I'm gonna make it come to here and now I'm gonna make it go off screen like so just like that so if we play this through that looks much more better it actually looks like it doesn't just disappear it looks like it actually gets thrown off the screen so we'll see this again should look better yeah it looks much better to me see a little fault there I picked it up but you can see it was very quick to edit okay so yeah that is how you do it and now of course if you want to add the electricity effect it is very simple so we can come back to our projects media since we dragged it in earlier and all you gotta do is literally put it into place shorten it down to where it actually starts make sure it ends at yeah it ends right there and then simply press Control C, Control V, Control V, Control V, and as the energy ball ends there, we have to come here and shorten it down. And again, you can see the markers come in to help there as well. And now it's completely done. Now, one thing you can do is make sure this blends in, so that way it won't have like a weird sound effect each track. So just blend them in like that, and it should make it sound much more better. Now I've just played around with it a bit and I've actually made it sound more continuous and it actually sounds much more better. So what I'm going to be doing is giving you this, I'm actually going to render out this separate audio and this is the electricity I'll give you because it sounds much more better than the original. So hopefully you like it, it was very simple to do and again to download the energy ball and the electricity, a link to it will be in the description. Like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go follow me on Twitter or I'll keep you updated when you post and what we're posting. Also be sure to go ahead and check out my gaming channel where I post four times a week. And finally check out my Snapchat where I'll just show you what I do throughout my day. See so yeah, it's been Casual Savage here. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Great and peace. Tell me pretty lights. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me.